This is National 5 Maths Revision and what we're looking at is we're looking at uh, a quadra quadratic section and we'll be looking at uh, solving quadratic equations. Okay, and in this case here we're going to be using factorising. Factorising, putting it into brackets and from there working out what our answer is going to be. Right, so let's get started on these. These, these questions here have been put together by the guys from um, the free National 5 Maths website. So this is the answers that we're going to go for, for here. Let's go for them, right? So the first one here, 6x squared minus 4x equals 0. So first thing that I've got to think about when I look at any anything that I have to factorise is I'm going to be looking at uh, a common factor. So in this first one here, a common factor between these two, look at the numbers both on the two times table, so I'm going to take a 2 out as a common factor. Um, they both get x's, so I'll take x out as a common factor as well. So that would be my highest common factor, 2x, to be removed from a bracket. So 2x times something will give me 6x squared, so 2 times 3 it must be, and it must be an x that goes there. So that's 2x and 3x will give me 6x squared, okay? And here, negative sign there, and 2x times something gives me minus 4x, just be a 2. Right, so from there what I've got is I've got a, a, um, a kind of factorised quadratic out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and solve it. So if these two things are multiplied and they equal 0, well either that there, so 2x is equal to 0, or what we've got is we've got 3x minus 2 equals 0. So this is where I'm going to get two of my solutions from. So if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 0 at that side. What we'll do here is I'll uh, add 2 onto both sides. That'll eliminate that one, leaving me with 3x is equal to 2. And then x is going to be equal to, if I divide both sides by 3 to eliminate that 3, that'll give me 2 thirds. So there's my two solutions there, okay? So x equals 0 and uh, x equals 2 thirds. Right, next one. Looking at this one here, right? So first thing I should be looking at when I'm factorising, common factor. No, nothing there. Um, then I should be looking for a difference of squares, possibly, because there's only two things here. Difference, yep, I've got a negative sign in between. Uh, that's a square uh, number. That's a square term. Yeah, so it's a difference of squares. So a difference of squares can be put into two brackets. Okay, uh, what we'll go for is square root of 16, which is 4. Okay, so 4 and 4 in the first parts of the brackets. Square root of x squared, that's going to be an x there and an x there. One of them's a minus, one of them's a plus. Minus and a plus. You can check it by multiplying the bracket back out, and it will come back to that point there. Okay, so then I'm going to go for my answers. So my answers are going to come from this bracket here. So 4 minus x equals 0. So I'm going to take it, uh, add x to both sides. So that should give me 4 is equal to x. Okay, and I'm just going to write that round the other way. So 4 x equals 4. Okay, on this one here. If I take that one out, I've got 4 plus x equals 0. So from there, I can uh, take 4 away from both sides. If I take 4 away from both sides, that gives me x equals negative 4. So there's my solutions for that. So x equals 4 and x equals negative 4. Right, so looking down the bottom here, I've got two uh, quadratics or trinomials that I'm going to try to uh, factorise. Um, Looking at this one here, the, the method that I usually use is a magic number method. For the 1x squared, remember that's a 1 that's in front there, the, the way I would normally do it is I'd work out what a magic number would be. And my magic number is really just these two numbers multiplied. But the more you do these, you realise that for when it's just a 1 that's in front of x squared, the magic number there is just going to be a positive 12. What we'll do for that is I've got uh, factors of 12, 1 and 12, 2 and uh, 6, 3 and 4, and then I'm back to 4 again. So I've got all the factors. What I'm trying to do with these factor pairs that are here, I want to make the middle term that's there. So the middle term is a negative 7 out of these. So with these values here, because that's a positive number, and they were the factors, they're both positives, or they're both negatives, so if they're both positives, that would make 13. If they're both negatives, it's negative 13. I can't make the 7 or the minus 7 there. If these are both uh, positives, they would be uh, 8. If they were both negatives, it would be negative 8. Can't use them either. If these ones here were both positives, that would be a positive 7, which isn't right. If they were both negatives, yep, they would make the, the negative 7 if I gathered them together. 
Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight into two brackets with these. When it's just the 1x squared, straight into the brackets, and I'm going to have x and x. So that will be to make the x squared. And then I'll have a negative 3 and a negative 4. Both of these multiply together to get the uh, plus 12 that's there. Because two negatives multiplied together, they'll give me a positive. So solutions, same as we've done up above. I've got x minus 3 equals 0. Or what I've got is I've got x minus 4 equals 0. So here I'm going to add 3 on to both sides. That would eliminate that, and that gives me x equals 3. I'm going to add 4 on to both sides. Cancel that out. I'm just using the balance method when I'm solving equations, and that's x equals to 4. So there's my solutions there. Right, the final one that I've got, I've got a 2x squared uh, minus 5x plus 3. So the 2 at the front makes things a wee bit more complicated. For uh, factorising trinomials, you should check out my uh, other videos on how to do these um, and hopefully you get uh, really proficient at doing that. So what we're going to do is get a magic number. So my magic number is made up of multiplying these two numbers together here. So my magic number is a positive 6. And remember the signs when you're trying to do this as well. I'm going to look at the factors of 6. So what I've got is 1 and 6. I've got 2 and 3. And then I'm 3 and 2. So I've got all the factors that are there. What I'm going to do this time is different from the previous example. I'm going to try to make these work and work out to be a negative 5 when I add them or subtract them together. So I can make a minus 5 with them, but, uh, but the thing is that if that's a positive sign, both these are positive or they're both negatives. So if they were both positives, that would make 7. If they're both negatives, I gather them together and that would be negative 7, so I can't use them. These ones here, if I add them together, if they were positives, they would be positive 5, but if I have two negatives, gather them together, yep, that's going to be my answer there. So, this is the difference here that we're going to work with. We're going to replace that there with a minus 2x and a minus 3x. Is that okay? Because minus 2x take away another 3x gives me negative 5x. And that's the way I'm going to be working with uh, this type of factorising. So I've got uh, the 2x squared that's sitting there already. I've got a plus 3 that's there. And we've got that equals 0 at the end to allow us to solve this. Right, so the way I'm going to work this one out, I'm going to take a line that's here. And to the left of that line, I'm going to take out the common factor. So the common factor between these two will be uh, 2x. So 2x coming out as a common factor, that would be x subtract 1. If I multiply that bracket out, I come back to that up at the top. For this side here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a negative 3 out as a common factor. So negative 3 times something gives me negative 3x. So that must be just an x. Negative 3 times something gives me a positive 3. So that one there must be a negative 1. Okay. When I get to this stage here, what I usually do is check that these two brackets are exactly the same. If they are, I've factorised it correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, work out the rest from here. So for this type of factorising, I assemble it this way. So that's going to be a 2x. It's going to be a minus 3 in the first bracket. And I just take down one of these brackets now. And it's really the reverse of multiplying out. You know, this, this type of... Uh, way of factorising. It's a reverse of multiplying out by splitting the, the brackets. Right, so let's get our answers from here. First answer from there. I've got 2x minus 3 equals 0. So 2x is going to be equal to, if I add 3 on to both sides, that will give me a 3 on that side. If I divide by 2, I get uh, x is equal to 3 upon 2. For this side here, so my other solution is going to be x minus 1 equals 0. So x I'm going to add one onto both sides, it eliminates that one, x is 1. And that's my answer there. So just remember when we're factorising, what we're actually doing to get the, when we get the solutions, these are the points where a quadratic graph cuts through the x-axis. And these are the x-coordinates of these, uh, these points. Okay, so that's the quadratic uh, e equations uh, solved by factorising. Last thing that we'll do in this uh, series is to look at the quadratic formula for, uh, for solving quadratic equations.